Good drop, digs this one back in line. Here's Hedman. Hedman waits, waits, shoots, and the shot was blocked. Never reached the net. Back to the point for J.J. Moser. Long shot, scooped up by Fleury. This one's poked out in front and lifted down the ice by Nick Paul. Chafee applying some pressure up there. The four check turns it over. Here's Paul shoots. Stopped by Flurry. Andre Flurry had to make a big save there. Chafee, former member of the Wild. Oh, there's a toe save by Flurry. Was leaning the wrong way just a little bit, but he kicked it out. 39 year old Mark Andre Flurry. Second most wins all time. Going straight to the Hall of Fame when he's done. Here's points. Points curls back. He'll feed the point for Moser across to Hedman. Hedman shot stopped by Flurry. Big rebound. He got the wild playing better, but the hole was too big. They did not make the playoffs. Puck into the middle. Brodeen with a one touch to Rossi. Rossi in cross ice feed. They score. A backdoor feed, and it is buried over there by Kirill Kaprizov. You don't give that guy many chances. And they keep their record intact, scoring first again. And what a shot. And this is the way this top line has gone. Rossi's kind of an unknown quantity, actually, still. But apparently he's off to a great start this year. There he is, making that seam pass. And it's a huge seam. But Kaprizov is loaded. And look where he scores from. That's today's National Hockey League, man. Outside the dots, down low. Looks like it. He yeah, left it to the last second. Did he ever just got it in. They were waiting and waiting, going once, going twice, and here's the call. Tampa is challenging the play for offside prior to the goal. Oh, did he put himself offside, or did he have the puck under control? That's Rossi, bottom of the screen. I was looking here at the opposite side. No, so it's not the near side, it's actually the puck carrier, so... After review, the play was deemed to be onside, therefore we have a good goal. So for the seventh consecutive game, the Wild score first. Banks off the wall, pulls Zuccarello out. And Chernoff got, got hacked on the hand there. He was uh, shaking that right hand, no penalty. One-timer, oh, and Vasilevsky got a piece of that one. And one-timer from a sharp angle from Boldy. That's exactly where Kaprizov got his. Now here comes a short-handed rush. Sorelli in, shoots, and Flurry makes the stop. Four assists, that line had nine points. It's a two-on-one, but he does the right thing. He's a lefty on the right side, so his angle to the net is really good, his shooting angle. He looked across, no, the pass I can't make. Nick Perbix, another Minnesota native, goes rink wide, now to the middle for points. Point now to Gensel, Gensel shot, kicked aside again by Fleury. Right onto the tape for Capriza, back to Marco Rossi. Rossi, the former first rounder. Here's Middleton, his shot saved by Vasilevsky, the rebound bounces right out. And here comes Acimon. Acimon takes the puck wide, carries it in, holds, shoot, stopped by Fleury. Great glove stop on Mikey Acimon. Coming back the other way with good speed. Now you get Nick Paul charging from behind. He was open for a second there, but Acimon waited too long. His pass not clean, now picked up by Paul. Paul gets the puck back. Wide open as Hagel, his shot saved by Flurry. He's made a couple. Cleared by the Wild and back out to center ice. Here's another chance for Hagel. Dishes off the oh one-timer from Geek. He goes up and over. 99 points playing in the Western Junior League. This is a heck of a play, starting with the fake shoot in by Hedman and gets it to Hagel, who's ready for it. And then he makes a great play across, and it was a hot pass. And for him to get as much on it as he did, that shows you the hands and coordination. He was ready, and he rips it right off the crossbar. He's had some really good scoring chance. Kaprizov trying to pick his way in. He does. Carries it deep into the zone, but the pass back to the point. Never got there. Sorelli poke checks, and gets it back after a little help. Here's Sorelli trying to get his way in. Sorelli to Hagel. Scores! Short-handed goal from the Red Hot, Brandon Hagel, Tage. He's going to lose the puck. 
right here. He spins around, gets control. Watch him cut through the middle here. And it's a little messy, but he stays with it. And then just as he's about to go down, Hagel makes himself available. And Sorelli has the wherewithal to hear the yell and just put it, put it into the scoring area. And then Hagel, yes, that's his fourth goal in less than two games. Kaprizov and Permix. Now Kudrov cuts in the middle, drops it off to Asimov. Mikey Asimov walks out, shoots, and Flurry had to come out and make a stop there on Asimov. At the line, kept in. Lightning trying to build off that short-handed goal. Here's Paul, back to Kucherov. Oh, wow. He scores! Back-to-back -back goal for the Lightning. That one from Kucherov, and it's 2-1 Tampa Bay. Inside the blue line starts with Nick Paul. Nice little chip play. Then watch Perbix gives it back to Kucherov. And everybody thinks Nick Paul's going to shoot. I think probably even Kucherov did. But he's always ready for it. Nick Paul fools everybody. He goes, yeah. And then right back, puts it in the wheelhouse. Kuch is ready. Double screen in front. Mark Andre Fleury moving left, moving right. That was a bad play by Kaprizov there. He put Boldy in a real bad spot, and the puck ends up out of the zone by their own doing. Here comes Boldy at the middle, and that is a poster. Did Vasi get a piece of that? Blue line in just completely fools Victor Hedman. Watch Hedman shift his weight. He doesn't expect that cutback right off the crossbar. I thought maybe Vasi stabbed that one, but Victor was fooled on it. I think the puck flipped on him or started to wobble just a little bit there. See, yeah, and so it's a wobbly shot, but man, great move. Nick Paul has got an assist on the Kucherov goal. In the line is Paul. Gets it back. Big stop there by Flurry. Another shot. That one goes high. To a lot of the modern goaltenders, he's got a great glove. We've already seen that. Gave it on the board, trying to find that puck, and it rolls back to the line for Bodine. Bodine dishes off. Here's Boldy. Up high in the zone, gives it to Bogosian. Bogosian across, they score! Little feed from Bogosian in front to Erickson Eck, and it's all tied up. It's the top of the circle, watch 81. He's leaving to go up there, and he, it, you have two guys on one. Now, Ryan McDonough thinks that Chernak, who normally is there and should be there, is there. So he goes out to challenge against Bogosian. Bogosian makes a nice little play and look all alone in front of the net is Erickson Eck. But it started with Chernak getting overly aggressive there and he was. Two shots total. Penalty kill has been good. They need another one here. Zuccarello puts it across and that one hopped away from Kaprizov. He's got one of the goals for the Wild here tonight. The game opening goal back in the first. Zuccarello looks across, Kaprizov scores! Almost a carbon copy of his first goal, and it is 3-2 Minnesota. He whistled this through. How it even got there, and the concentration by Kaprizov to hit this one on the one-timer. Look at the sticks in the way. McDonough almost got it, and because he didn't, I mentioned when he scored the first one, today's NHL, guy scoring from that bad an angle, that deep down. That is incredible. The goaltenders have to cover so much ground. Look at Vasi. One goal lead. Leon Dreisaitl, I think, in Edmonton has led the way. They're scoring so many goals. Here's Rossi. That caught the outside of the post. Kudrup does have a goal. It came in the midway point of the game back in the second period. Puck is loose now for Kaprizov. Kaprizov's in, and he snaps a shot that got some post again. Hedman wise fires a shot off the glove of Flurry into the corner. Lagosian. Hagel now trying to find it. Sorelli's in there as well. Loco gets it free, and this is going to be a wide open net for Kirill Kaprizov. 4 2 wild. 4 to 2 now. Just content to play good positional hockey, get it consistently, and just dump it right back out of the zone. The frustration level they've created for the Lightning over the course of the game got higher and higher, and this is how it gets salted away. The empty netter by Kaprizov to make it 4-2. to two. And give this Minnesota team credit. They are, as advertised, off to a great start, and they are going to hand the Lightning 
a 4-2 defeat here in the first of a three-game homestand. John Hines and company are 5-0-2.